Hello, BookCube. I'm going to try another tag. This one's been around a little while, I think. At least, a, oh, it's been around since January. Um, so I'm not going to tag anybody else. I think everybody I follow has already done this. It's the, the East, Istanbul BookTube tag, which I saw on Aaron Facer's channel. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And the tag was uh, originally created by, by Jim from Jim's books, readings, and stuff. Uh, I I read this I read this tag uh, a while ago and didn't think I'd have anything to, interesting to add because a couple of the questions I don't have a good answer for. But then I realized, although I don't read poetry much anymore, and I've been wondering just to myself about why I don't read poetry much anymore, but one of my very favorite poets of all time uh, is Turkish. So I'm going to go through the questions here and see how we do. First one, Istanbul has many names. Uh, which do you prefer? I prefer, I mean, there's good names. Constantinople's a good name. Byzantium's a good name. But I prefer Istanbul because of the poet that I'm going to mention in a minute here uh, when I talk about books I've read. Um, and there's actually a couple books I've read. Number two, Orhan Pamuk won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2006. Have you read any books by an author because they had won the Nobel Prize for Literature? I have not. Not for that reason, anyway. Um, I'm not even really up that much on Nobel Prize winners. I know Marquez won it. I know Doris Lessing won it. I know Bob Dylan won it. Um... Lots of people have won it. I don't follow it that that well, so I can't say I've ever uh, done so um, for that reason. I kind of thought there's an. I'm in Albania. I'm still in Albania, which I mention in every video. And there's a writer here named Ismail Kadari, which is I think almost a correct pronunciation of his name, who I thought had won it. Apparently not. He's been, his name comes up a lot. He's 88 years old, still living. Um, he's written a fair number of books. They're all about the uh, his home nation of Albania and its uh, history, uh, history under communism. And he wrote a book called, uh, one of his books, the first book I read by him was called it, the Trader's Niche, or Trader's Niche, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, which is set in, in Istanbul. Um, oh, I'm getting a hand to question four. But I'll go ahead and then I'll go back to question three. Uh, it's set partially in Istanbul. It's, uh, there's a, it's told from many d different points of view during the medieval era when uh, Albania was part of uh, the Ottoman Empire. And it's kind of a travelogue from the point of view of many different characters. Uh, first character we meet is has the job of attending to the head that is crammed into a niche in the wall of the palace, the head of a traitor. Uh, apparently the sultan or whoever's in charge of the emperor, the, the, the Ottoman Empire at that time, takes the heads of uh, rebellious lords and vassals and things like that puts them on display so no one will um to just to demonstrate the power of the empire it's it's very biting satire it's a good book it's only about 100 pages or so um i'm going to revisit that question again after i go back to three look back to question number three have you visited istanbul no i have not but much like jim was saying in his video because he lives in georgia the, the nation of georgia and me being on the other other side of of in Albania, what you find being over here is that boy, so many fights go through Istanbul. So I'm I really do want to visit, and I think I'll be able to visit one way or another. There's depends on where I go next. I want to go to Egypt, and I want to go to uh, and I do want to see Turkey. Greece and you know half the fights I check on things and of course if I were going to go to Georgia it would be the same thing as Istanbul is really one of the huge huge uh, 
hubs, travel hubs in this part of the world. So I really hope that I can visit Istanbul. And then back to question number four. Have you read a book set wholly or partially in Istanbul? I mentioned the Qadari book, but for some reason I had forgotten my very favorite poet of all time, Orhan Veli. He's a wonderful writer, Istanbul writer. And that's why I'm going to say that because he writes about the city of Istanbul so often, that's um, because of his poetry, uh, he didn't live to be very old. He died very young which is another way of saying what I just said. Good Lord. Uh, but he wrote, you know, about Istanbul was his city. He was really very much a city poet. I've got a, one I want to read here. Okay, uh, he, did, he was not very prolif prolific because, like I say, he died fairly young. His poems, many of them are irreverent. Uh, there's this one called Good Weather that I like. It goes, Good Weather. This good weather ruined me. I resigned in such a weather from my government job. I got used to tobacco in such a weather. I fell in love in such a weather. I forgot to take home bread and salt in such a weather. My disease of writing poems recurred in such a weather. This good weather ruined me. He has a lot of uh, poems about the Bosphorus, the river that runs through Istanbul. And so I when I was reading poetry, I don't know why I stopped. It just, for some reason, it just stopped appealing to me, at least as, as intensely as it used to. Uh, I used to read his poems all the time. I love him so much. There's very, there's two little tiny thin books you can get from them translated in English. I recommend him very much, even though I'm hardly an expert. Anyway, that's the book I'm going to say I read in, set in Istanbul, is his collections of poetry because he lived there and, and he wrote about his city. Number five, have you read a book that mentioned the Armenian genocide? No, as far as I remember, I do not. I've learned about it in history, of course, and I thought that Jim's discussion of those books and his recommendations that were very fascinating. So if you haven't seen that, I'm sure you have. If you're looking at this tag, you've probably seen uh, Jim's original, but I, I really enjoyed his uh, his coverage of that terrible episode in history and and the way that Turk, uh, Turkish government apparently still bans uh, mention of it, which I was not aware of either. So that's what I have to say about the, the city tag. Uh, I really hope I, I do get to go there and, and see it for myself. And it's I, I had a couple of friends who went there, and they really enjoyed their trip. There's a lot of history there, and which I love, and we'll see how it goes. That's it for tonight, book, uh, booktube. I'll see you next time. This is Pete.